He's known as the champion of the planet, and he made his way to CMU. We'll tell you more of his green plans. And long lines and sold out screens will take you to the new moon premiere. All this and more coming up on New Central 34. Live from Mount Pleasant Zone, this is New Central 34 at 5. A voice for the environment and economy spoke to a full house at CMU last night. Good evening and welcome to New Central 34. I'm Mary Klink. And I'm Sarah Keelanen. Environmentalist Robert Kennedy Jr. spoke to the CMU community Thursday night in Warner's, Warner Hall's Placta Auditorium about the necessity of creating a green economy. Kennedy believes a green economy will sharpen America's competitiveness and reduce America's energy costs and national debt. Time magazine named Kennedy a hero of the planet and Rolling Stone magazine named him one of its 100 agents of change. Huge crowds and huge hype last night for the midnight release of New Moon. Chris Judd was at Mount Pleasant Celebration Cinema taking it all in. New Moon is the second movie in the Twilight Saga based on the books of the same name by Stephanie Meyer. Tickets at the Mount Pleasant Celebration Cinema went on sale two months ago and all 11 midnight shows were sold out a week in advance. That's nearly 1,500 seats and a first in Mount Pleasant theater history. The first film, Twilight, released a year ago, and the hype has only grown since then. I saw Twilight last year and I read all the books, and I'm just really excited to see the next one. Celebration Cinema staff called the night their version of Black Friday. The theater had multiple lines around the building as patrons waited to get inside. I'm Chris Judd for New Central 34. Mid-Michigan Hospitals received its first baby girl doe ever. The infant was surrendered by her mother after she gave birth to her on September 10th. The abandonment is covered under the state's safe haven law. This law allows parents to give up a baby up to 72 hours after it is born and they can be given to hospitals or police and fire stations. WMHW will be launching a new radio station. HD2 The Revolution will be moving to 101.3 FM in addition to its HD broadcast. The move will help more listeners access the HD station since its current audience is low. The station will have a small range reaching only the immediate Mount Pleasant area. The station will have a slightly different format than 91.5, playing adult album alternative music, which is a bit more mellow and features musicians like Dave Matthews Band and Coldplay. Why three? Because I feel like it. What I do. Mount Pleasant City officials are urging snowbirds to make sure they are counted correctly for the upcoming 2010 census. Census forms will be mailed in February through March of 2010, and residents must declare residency in the city where they spend the most time throughout the year. For forms received at the second home, number of residents should be entered as zero and usual home elsewhere put as a reason for the number. When they return to their permanent residence, occupants can return their correctly filled out forms to the Be Counted locations. For more information, please visit our website at cmich.edu slash newcentral34. A local restaurant is pairing with United Way to spread some holiday cheer. We spoke with the manager of the Mount Pleasant Big Boy to get all the details. Um, we have teamed up with the United Way to do a dinner with Santa, which is going to be a week from tomorrow, which is the 28th of November, and it's going to be to raise money for the United Way, and then we're also doing a couple side things along with the dinner itself, um, which 20% 20 20 of the proceeds um, from the dinner with the coupons that we're handing out um, will go towards the United Way itself. Fourteen Secretary of State offices will close their doors. This according to Secretary of State Terry Lynn Land. Offices in Lansing, Flint, Frankenmuth and Detroit are a few of the locations set to close. The office closures will help the Secretary of State stay on top of the projected 20% cut in departmental funding by Governor Granholm for the 2011 fiscal year. But the fewer offices won't mean longer lines. The consolidated offices will have more staff and streamlined services aiming to serve the public quickly and efficiently. 
Downtown Lansing kicks off the holiday season tonight with a 25th annual Silver Bells in the City celebration. Over 100,000 people are expected to join in the celebration, which includes lighting of Michigan's official Christmas tree, a lighted parade, and fireworks over the Capitol building. Activities began at 5 p.m., but you still have time to see the actual lighting. That happens at 7. In a string of break-ins in Coleman this week, Coleman Police Chief Larry Nielsen said $300, a rifle, and ammunition were taken from the Coleman Department of Public Works Wednesday. Attempted break-ins at Rick's Body Shop, Karen's Family Market, and a home in the 400 block of West Railway Street resulted in hundreds of dollars in damage. The Coleman Police Department believes the break-ins are connected. Anyone with information should contact the Coleman Police Department. Detroit police discovered over $6 million worth of cocaine in a drug bust on the city's west side. Lawrence Martin of Ypsilanti was arrested in connection with the bust, but the police are still searching for more suspects. The police believe this seizure is related to another 5 kilos of cocaine seized last Saturday. And Obama is making efforts to keep poor teachers from remaining in the school system. It's one part of a national, a educational reforms that would link student test scores with teacher tenure. Despite concerns about due process, officials and teachers alike agree that the current systems need to change. That's all we have for the show this evening. For News Central 34, I'm Sarah Keelanen. And I'm Mary Clink. Have a great night.